Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in dry dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the Captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Welcome to my favorite mission in this entire game. This is what I consider to be the best one. Uh, because it's just... Oh, it's so delicious. Because it's just... Okay, basically, the entire thing is you have uh, a limited amount of squad... Like, a, a squad that drops. And the platform is pretty consistent. You're trying to get these battle cruisers here. And there's these bunkers, obviously, barricading the way. I have three Terran pilots, basically. And so whenever I bring a pilot into a, the beacon... Uh, as soon as he walks over there. Battle cruiser operation. You get a battle cruiser out of it. And that's what that's what makes this really cool to me. I'm gonna just uh we we also get our first taste of the medics basically as well. And the medics are make this mission so much easier. And I'm just dimming them basically completely. Stim to the red. Professional Starcraft players stim to the red. There's probably like another bunker up here. On my way. And we get another uh, right. Terran pilot no over here. These are actually civilians. Right. They actually have uh, civilians. We also get restoration and optical flare, uh, neither of which is particularly useful for this mission here. And they're attacking my medics. I don't know, randomly medics kind of just have suicidal tendencies. I don't really know why. Alright, we're done. And we can just continue to the the red. But yeah, this is my favorite mission in the entire, out of every StarCraft game, every StarCraft campaign. Battle Cruiser and this, Operational. It's just, I like this one because it's like, okay, I'm done with that one. Here's a new one. So, uh, we don't quite know what's coming up. So we, we start to walk this way. And now the tank is blind and he can't, he, he basically gives him a vision of one. So he can't. He can't see anything, so he's he's blind. That flares are all often used as a, like a tactical maneuver to basically blind detectors, because with that one ability, uh, detectors no longer work, which is really cool. We can we can continue to kind of step up here. 
wonder if we'll get nukes anytime soon. Oh god. Okay. You know, we'll just we'll just use the medics to do this. Fuck this. We can, we can also use uh, lockdown if we really want to. Uh, but optical flare is just so much better. These ghosts are so weak without me. Okay. There you go. It's 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 actually kind of cheap to be honest. But that's why we love it, right? All right. Well, uh, one over here. One over here, What's and both of them follow up here. I want to go to Bob's guns. So, uh, the medics, especially with the four armor, can can basically eat up a hit if they really want to. And that's pretty much it, actually. The ghosts were not any use here. At all. Wow. Sorry, ghosts. Oh, you can cloak. Bad men are cloak. There you go. I don't know. Battle cruiser What's operational. Up? I'm here. I feel like they're depressed. Battle cruiser Sir, operational. The silos are secured. We've got four nukes on standby, awaiting your orders. I can't. There's even a counter for seven battle cruisers. All right. So now things change up a little bit. We ha we actually have nuclear strikes at our disposal, Go ahead, I, and not a lot of great units. Um, so. What I like to do is I just like to send in a ghost to basically just scout out things ahead. Because we can't really see what's up here. And basically, the idea is we want to find a nice cluster of, of units. And wow, that, that guy kicked my ass. So here we go. Uh, we can optical flare him. And now he's he's a really useless detector now. He, he can't detect anything. Like, he's blind he's, it, instead of being a detector, which is really cool. Oh well, I lost one ghost. What are you gonna do? Finally, but it's okay. We get to see nuclear strikes now. I'm all over it. And later, what and we can just send like two, two civilians up here Finally. while we nuke this next area, because it does have a couple I'm of units here. It. Wow. Well, they're dead. Launch detected. What's up? At it. Ghost report. Got a multitask. <laughs> it just happened at the exact same time. How many nukes do we have left, I wonder? We gotta watch this, though. Oh, it's delicious. Alright. Uh, we got four in total, so there's probably another group right over here. However, we do have the high ground, so... I guess this one, this one ghost is just gonna happen. Oh, oh! Oh, that hurt my feelings. Uh, I don't really know why he, he saw us, but okay, now he doesn't see us. Guess if I'm too close to the corner, they can see me. Do you have any more nukes ready? Oh yeah, I wasted that one nuke I had, but that's okay because uh, you only need three to win. I'm pretty sure. Okay, get him up here. And we are missing Goliath. I'm sure they're gonna come up here and attack me any second now. Good thing they gave you a bonus one. Ghosts make for very good snipers. They got like 10 damage. It's like full damage against light units. So they, they've always been great units uh, for sniping. But they're they're mostly meant for specializing. It's just kind of one of those bonus things that you can do with them. Uh, you know. But you know you don't you don't really build a billion ghosts with the intention of using them for for killing light units. Well then, I just lost a whole lot of units. That's okay. I think we'll win anyways. And there's one more up here. Alright, let's just send these guys one by one. I didn't ex I didn't actually expect there to be a mine. But it's better that they get hit by it than uh, than my than my actual full units. So we we're going to just send this lone marine in to basically scout it out. And what do you know? Even though I fucked up like 20 times, I still win. Cue the spider mine at the last second. Battle cruiser operational. Heads up, we got company. Motor sir! Did someone page me? Motor sir! We gotta shake this lockdown pronto! I'm on the job! Ready! Restore us! And that's the restoration ability. It removes all the, the badness of anything. Which is, uh, in this case, 
Uh, it was locked down, and you can you can restore the lockdown out essentially, which is actually really cool. Uh, you can do this on like you know ensnare, plague, parasite even even that parasite ability. That's so irritating. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a tank right up there. We don't have any more nukes, but we can certainly go in there. Yeah, we don't get the nukes anymore, by the way. If you, if you kept that one, you don't get it anymore. Uh, now let's go use this to basically shell that guy from long range. And he didn't stand a chance. I'll bring these units here to kind of cover. Because they also have a tank right up there, and that's not nice. Oh, and this guy's running out of cloaks, so I gotta get rid of his cloak. Yes, I'm surprised that they aren't actually attacking me right now. I wonder if he has blind or something, because I don't actually know what's up here. So if I go up there, I'm going up there essentially blind. Just kill that marine and shit. There you go. That firebat hates life. Nope, no, he's coming. And he slightly maybe stood a chance if it wasn't for the fact that I just killed him. Alright, uh, I'm here. up next, uh, we're gonna go cloak and try and get that guy. Ow. That's okay. And hopefully not bring these civilians with us. It costs me 25 cloak, uh, 25 energy to cloak, which is, like, not, not always the best. And let's just, uh, optical flare him, because fuck that guy. And there you go. Uh, we can try and see what's up here. Uh, at some point we're supposed to converge. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, uh... Oh, cool. We can actually see the tank down there. I wonder if we can shoot it. Wait, no! He shot me! He's supposed to be blind, that asshole. Well, let's just go, up go let's just go get him with the lockdown, even if he can see us. Oh no, they had, we had, they had, he had the sight. Oh god. All the way over there, are you for fucking real? Attack him, please. Can you, can you guys, like, not go down there? Thank you. I'll just let that science vessel do whatever he wants. And I think we just meet up here now. Assuming that there's no... Oh god. What are you doing? Why is it always some fucking... I don't even know. Alright, let's just wait for the science vessel to make its return. Actually, no, I'll just, I'll just optical flare him. Get out of here. Alright. Um... I can, I can go get him with a, with a lockdown. Wait, just get up here. There we go. And just use these two guys to siege mode up and get him. No, no, not that close. There we go. All right. Wonder why I can see up there. All right, this stuff. Well, we're doing good so far. I mean, we haven't lost anyone. Uh, besides the no, no, that that, guy, that ghost was last time. Okay, we're gonna need the uh, the tanks to help us with that one. Over, this guy right here. With that motherfucker right there. Sure Meanwhile, we'll just uh, go eat up this, all these battle cruisers. They probably have a tank up there, so I'm gonna move this guy up here. Yeah. Oh god. Alright, we could probably we could probably position ourselves in such a way that uh he can't get us. No, a target out of range. No, no, no. Oh god, we're gonna lose a tank. Oh, that's, that was fun. Yeah, I can actually hit him from over here. We need to both attack him, though. There you go. He didn't He didn't come alive all of a sudden, luckily for us. That one takes a bit of finesse. I will not lie. Alright, that bunker's down, down. Alright, and we have just one last tank over there, and this guy has full energy, so we'll just go butt, butt rush him. And then we're pretty much good. 
That's why I like this. This, is, this reminds me a lot of uh, the map's uh, uh, impossible scenarios kind of thing. And it was basically a multiplayer version of this where you had to like slow push up and use strategy to kind of go forward. And if you were reckless, you would die. So like I lost a ghost when I was being reckless, for example. Uh, uh, hey, don't go up there yet. It could be dangerous. What's, what the, what's the deal with what's down here? Actually, I kind of want to see what's down here. I mean, this this platform must exist for a reason. I don't think I've ever really looked over there. Oh my god, it's fucking nothing. Just as I, just like I expected. There could be something over here, though. No. I don't know why I'm expecting to find some Easter egg. I know where the Easter eggs are in this game. Battle cruiser operational. Captain, we are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. Uh, this must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. And, you know, it was a great mission, but the thing that they absolutely wanted and had to finish it off with was a really kick-ass battlecruiser fight, which, you know, is always fun. And they're in this nice little diamond formation, too. So I, I basically got, I 100% of this. You got all the battlecruisers. And if you... If you lose the upcoming fight, then you obviously you uh, you don't you you have to redo the entire mission. Captain, we are being hailed by the Dominion flagship NORAD Three. Well now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Mengsk, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Healing frequencies open. And so now we have a giant fleet of battlecruisers. Receiving transmission. And we're going to fight another giant Please. fleet of battlecruisers. Receiving transmission. Everyone needs to fight. We can, we can toss in a bit of Yamato in there. Just for fun. Obviously, we're gonna win this. They're severely outclassed and outnumbered. Good day, Commander. And that's it. Victory for us. And that there, there ends my uh, my favorite mission. Well, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.